Chang Kong is actually a big uh, renowned uh, Taoist uh, temple. Uh. So it basically is located in the eastern side. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that Cham, um, way back it was founded in uh, March 2003. It basically housed the Taoist Federation Singapore, uh, the Taoist Federation Youth Group, uh, even the Taoist College. Okay. Primary objective is to promote Taoism in Singapore. San Ching Kong is built on a symbolic land shaped like a groundnut with the main entrance facing the northeast direction, with a river flowing around the building. This is in accordance with the popular Taoist belief system called Feng Shui of harmonizing people with their surrounding environment. At the entrance of the building, visitors are greeted by three main prayer halls housing deities from Taoism, Confucianism and Buddhism. Uh, on our extreme uh, left is actually the Confucius uh, shrine. Okay, that actually housed the Confucius itself and also the 72 students. Every year close to the August time, uh, it's actually his birthday. So the time we will have a lot of uh, students actually come here and pray to him to seek blessing and to hope that we get a good result. On the right hand side is actually the San Tzu. San Tzu is another, uh, the, more on the Chen Zhen Pai, uh, teaching those uh, celestial masters or, or the, uh, they call it the Taoist uh, masters itself where, where they have already uh, gained enlightenment. We also have the medicines uh, master. Uh, the more popular one will be Hua Tuo. They also have uh, Guan Yin. The Taoism, uh, Guan Yin is classified as a Zi Hang Zhen instead of Guan Yin itself. San Ching Kong's pride and glory lies in its main prayer hall which accommodates a breathtaking three-storey shrine that clearly shows the hierarchy of the main deities in Taoism. On the very top part is actually house the Da Ruo Tian uh, Taoist deities. Uh. Mm. So we had the San Ching Kong, so we had the Yuan Si Tian Zun, uh, Ling Bao Tian Zun and mm. Tao Te Tian Zun. The top layer also seats Dong Hua Ti Jun, who is in charge of all male deities, and Si Wang Mu, in charge of all female deities. Other respectable deities are seated on the middle level, whereas the earthly deities occupy the lower level. Ancestor worship is an important aspect in Taoism, where the spirit of the deceased family members are believed to look after the family and influence the fortune of the living. San Ching Kong also houses countless ancestral and spiritual tablets where devotees can offer prayers and food for their deceased relatives. This Taoist temple is also home to Southeast Asia's first and longest Tao Te Chin scripture wall. Tao Te Chin, or the Book of Tao and its Virtue, was written by Lao Chu, the father of Taoism, between 722 to 481 BC. The 5,000 words was perfectly carved by a well-known Chinese calligrapher using top-grade stone material from Fuchan province. This magnificent stone wall and is a testament to San Jing Kong's efforts to infuse art and wisdom into one. Intricate stone engravings depicting dragons, tigers and folklore can be found on pillars, walls and even prayer tables around the temple. Dragons and tigers symbolize the duality and the balance of the universe, also known as the yin and yang. The yin and yang is the most famous symbol of the Tao and its variations are definitely hard to miss at San Ching Kong. All three prayer halls are also lavishly designed with beautiful aspects of nature which form the basis of many Taoist teachings. A flaming pearl signifying the one, the pole star, or the original chi is often found on the roof of Taoist temples between two dragons. The Qingming Jie, which is another significant day in Taoism. Uh, that's where they will come between the niches and uh, some prayers to their ancestors. Okay, then seven months will be another time where the, the thing gets popular. So this place uh, is uh, full of activities. Uh, so mm-hmm. every, every now and then there will be festivals.